mambo ya mahiri na maharagwe ya waachie sisi hiyo ni yetu na hiyo tumekubaliana and that is going on mambo ya barabara ya kutoka area nyanyuki kwenda rumuruti is on course mambo imekuwa ngumu lakini as things are improving that is another commitment we shall honor among many others mambo ya bohol mambo ya dams tutaendelea sitaki niongee sana nitarudi tuongee mambo ya maendeleo lakini hii county yetu tumeshikilia vile inatakikana mambo ya madawa za kulevia na pombe haramu ya kuua watu mnajua tumefanya juhudi hiyo ni kazi rais alinipatia niongoze and i'm happy ya kwamba hapa la kipia hawa sasa have done a good job kanisa pia mtusaidie kwa mambo ya rehabilitation ya wale wamekuwa addicted to kinge vijana wetu kutoka kwa hii mambo ya mihadarati na zile pombe ambazo zinaua watu and it lack and all to do kumana kemati ka uko mamitaro na uko marugu wa itanda ndio unedraji yako ora ne kuragira yuko ngona farande ona timia mekirita kifura no kona mari atungu harini ukamenya ni kwega ukamenya ni kwega atoreda aduli na timia maikaranie wega nigetha tugie na ciara tone kirathimo litiguo na ciara nyingi ni kindu kiega kindu kiuruke ne no ki okiroda dreda riu ana ke na timia tuongerere ruriri nigetha ngi ukadi theba guku gaiwa no nge itura riu no nge no nge ngamenya ne hega ngamenya twira inini tondu no wega turia ingitiuru no wega turia ingi joke juge girikia muhujia ne uga ena kana kana first class honors ya lo kalenda kuthie Kenya School of Law akagabe shashia uthoma atono ndari ukano akijira kauti ngire muningo kwera ndigathombithie nagera agatwe ka wakiri goke karute wira is something i can do nitoko ya details nagera ndigatware shukuru tohote kugateithia niki malizia let me say that our country faces difficult moments and as a deputy president as a leader of this country i want to call for peace and calm i want to say that this is our own country we have no other country and i want to ask the people of kenya to make peace observe peace and keep away from violence the young generation gen z as your father my sons and daughters we have heard you you spoken very clearly the message is home what you started as peaceful protests unfortunately have been infiltrated and hijacked by criminals with a criminal intent who are now engaged in looting and creating mayhem i want to as a father as a parent to appeal to my children my sons and daughters listen to us as your parents i think if you agree we want to plead with you to call off the protests so that criminals do not hijack them and engage in criminal activities the president has already acceded to your plea to be heard and you will be heard but any time now you call for protests criminals with bad intent are hijacking and using that opportunity to loot to steal and to cause mayhem as our children you owe this country peace please consider now that you have been heard don't allow these criminals an opportunity to take advantage of what you had started in good faith with a message to the country infiltrate and hijack and bring chaos to our beautiful country that is my plea as a parent to my children and i want to say that now that you have been heard a mechanism is being worked on on how the issues that you think needs to be addressed will be addressed 
once you call over your protests, then our security agencies will be in a position to deal firmly and decisively with criminals in accordance with the laws of this country. I want to ask our leaders, the way they have started here, it's a good beginning, let's tone down, let us bring down temperatures, let us all build our country. We have only one country with one leader. Let us embark on peaceful coexistence among people so that we enjoy the fruits of our labor. A situation of chaos and mayhem is not conducive for people to carry on with their lives. That is my plea to all leaders in the country. It's my plea to our younger generation. It's my plea to everybody to understand and appreciate that we don't have another Kenya, we only have one Kenya. And we all must do what we should to make sure that there is peace and harmony in the country so that we are able to lead a good life. I want to thank my boss, President William Ruto, who has sent me with condolences to our family. And I also thank him for the support that he has given us in terms of solidarity, in terms of financial support. He has stood with us like a brother. He has always stood with my family at all times when we face difficulties. And he has sent me to read his condolence, which I will. Condolence message from His Excellency William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces.